Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. So in the previous videos, we have seen about what is an index, what are the types of index and in detail about like B-tree index, bitmap and function based index and when to use these type of indexes. So as a continuation of that, in this video, we'll see about what is a reverse key index. So here is a list of questions remix specific to reverse key index. If you can able to answer to these three questions, then we will be able to uh, get the most of the concepts related to the reverse key index. Let us start with what is a reverse key index. So reverse key index is a B3 type index only, but there is one difference that uh, the way it stores the key value. This is exactly like a B3. The only difference is it just reverse the key value and stores in the index. We'll be able to better understand if we see how the data is stored in the next couple of slides. There are two more very important information you need to understand about reverse key index. What is the problem this reverse key index is trying to solve and what is the advantage it, it brings in? Of course, what is the disadvantage because of this reverse key index? Because already we are having an index like beta index and other type of index. Then what is the advantage this brings it and what is the disadvantage is that? The main advantage the reverse key is trying to solve is the index block contention. Okay. We'll, we'll understand better in the next slide. Like when we try, when we know how the data is stored, we'll be able to understand this better. And there is an, uh, one disadvantage of this reverse key index is that we'll not be able to do the uh, index range scan once we create the reverse key index. Okay, let us see how the reverse key index, let us see how to create the reverse key index and how the index data is getting stored. We'll understand better by comparing with the B tree index because it's very much which very much related to the B tree and there is only one difference in the way it stores. So here is a simple table like a student table which is actually having like three column student number, student name, and mark. Uh, as you can see here, there are a lot of students uh, who has scored like uh, more than ninety, and there are few students who has scored less than like twenty or twenty five, whatever. So now if we try to create a B tree on this mark column, it basically creates a, a tree structure and it stores all this information in a sorted way. For example, uh, within this 0 to 25, this particular information will be stored. Same way from 26 to 50, will these informations will be stored. Same way like from 51 to 75 and 76 to 100. The one problem here is that since there are lot of students who have scored more than like 75 or more than 90, uh, in the index segment, lot of leaf nodes are accumulated in the uh, within the 76 to 100 bucket. So this creates the index block contention. So this is a problem. And this reverse key index try to address this problem only by just reversing the key value before storing the index. Let us see how to create the reverse key index now. The syntax is very similar to the B tree, except that there is a keyword called reverse at the end of the create index statement. The moment we create the uh, reverse key index by specifying this reverse key word, the index key will be actually reversed and stored in the index segment. For example, the 100, in this case, the 100 will be reversed. The reverse of 100 is nothing but the one and it will be stored here. You can see here, this particular row ID will be stored here. Same way, 10. The 10 will be reversed and it will be stored here. Same way the 40, now it is reversed and stored here. Same way like 91, it is stored. So the reversed value will be stored in the sorted order. This provide, um, the advantage of reversing and storing is that this distributes quite equally. Now if you can see the way it is stored, uh, here we are not able to see the index block contention because the, da the data in the leaf nodes are distributed bit uh, equally. So this is the problem. This is the problem which reverse key index is trying to resolve. Fine, reverse key solved the index block contention, but this brings a disadvantage as well. It's better if you understand this because these are the key things normally in an interview people will expect you to answer. So we'll uh, try to understand uh, the B tree scan then in comparison with the reverse key scan. So here is a, again the same student table when we create a B tree index and we, when we do a range scan it just goes for a uh, sorry when we do a range query something like this select star from student where a student mark less than 25 it obviously will go for a range scan because all these information will be stored in a continuous uh, order that in a sort order that that's why it is going for a range scan but the moment we create a reverse key index 
this information is no more sorted no more stored in the sorted order because 15 will be stored in in the 51 same way 27 will be stored in the position of 72 so it is not sorted because it is not sorted it will not be able to do the range scan so whenever we do a query something like select star from student where student less than 25 on top of a reverse key index it will go for a full table scan so these are the three main key point you need to keep it in mind one is like what is the reverse key index in comparison with beta index the second is what problem reverse key index is trying to resolve and what is the disadvantages of having a uh, reverse key index the problem reverse key is trying to solve is the index block contention and the reverse key is not suitable for range queries something like this if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos interview questions skill practical questions concept videos thanks a lot for watching this video if you have any comments please share it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id thanks a lot